So hello everyone, welcome to a uh, rainy day outside uh, at uh, Ratchet of Pears. This is the second video of the um, Bye Bye 1032 Oversized Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. Um, as you can see, um, I finished this mod, uh, as I probably told you in the previous video. Um, I also forgot to put the camera on, but uh, basically I just fill in a little bit under his arms and legs where they need to have some filler to give them some body. As you can see, also fix the wheels. Basically, it was one round ball joint there, one socket there, and it actually allows you to rotate the wheel in and out for robot mode. Um, yeah, the wheels. Uh, I also cut in the, um, the bit before the wings, as you can see. I did not um, paint them in because I still need to do some detailing on there and I gave him his new hat which is one of two. The other one of course is the one with the battle mask. Here we go. To give you an idea of how it looks. So um, yeah, he's um, getting there. He looks quite nice already. The wings uh, are able to go anywhere, anytime. They can even go off because they're on a ball joint, especially if you don't connect them properly. But they move in a little bit as well. It makes it look a little bit more dynamic and more possible and more fun. Especially the um, headlights look a little bit better now, because normally they would be able to go only this far, and this looks way better, in my opinion. So um, I think it's time to pull them apart for one last time and uh, give him a makeover. Uh, you'll be surprised to hear that he's going to be yellow. And I'm going to do the striping um, custom. And yeah, I'll make him the way he looked in the movie. So yeah, let's pull him apart. So when you're uh, done deconstructing uh, Bumblebee. He should look something like this. Now of course, um, the color we're going to be using for him is going to be yellow. In this case, I used um, Air Force yellow, I think it is. It's a uh, flat yellow, um, but the color is good. It's uh, US Navy yellow. Um, um, yeah, here you go. It's this one, 329 from Mr. Hobby. Um, this will be the color. It's a flat color, but um, I can act uh, gloss to it whenever I like, if I ever like, which I'll do when he's done. Um, so without further ado, let's start up the paint boot and uh, do some painting. But before we hit him with yellow, of course, we need to um, prime him a little bit because there's a lot of color differences on him. So um, first primer, then uh, the yellow, and then it will be the gunmetal stuff. So um, after the ground, the, the primer is on there. It looks a little like this. I already sanded them down a little bit. So that means now we're ready for uh, making him the bumblebee he's supposed to be, which is painting him yellow. So uh, next up, let's go to the paint booth again.
So good morning everyone. Um, as you can see, it's uh, a new day out because um, there's more light in the house. Um, and here is Bumblebee painted and all. Um, so next up I will do is uh, bring on the black stripes, which not only go onto the hoods, they don't go on the roof because I've seen uh, that that's how the model comes, but it doesn't go on the roof. The roof doesn't have any stripes on them. And I need to do the rear of the car. So for that, I need to put them back together again in parts. So I need to get the parts from the rear of the car. Connect them together. And I have to add the trunk bits. In there as well. And then I can start uh, taping it off so I can actually make it look like it's a cohesive car again. So first things first, I need to uh, get some tape. And I did check the spacing on the truck and I don't really have that size of tape on me. Oh, correction, I do. So first off, it's a really thin one. That will be the center stripe. So for the eagle-eyed viewers among you uh, might have noticed that I did not put the black stripes on the arms yet. That's because I haven't put them on yet, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it by hand though, because it's such a small area that I prefer to do uh, those little bits the easy way. So as you can see, I removed the tape and uh, got some really nice results with the stripes. Still need to do some sorting on the other bits, but I need to let it cure for a while. But uh, while I'm still with black pencils uh, getting ready, I need to sort some things around the spoiler on the back of the car. And of course, Bumblebee needs his racing stripes right over here. So I'll do that now. So looking at uh, the pictures I've got of the movie Bumblebee, I just found out that he actually has got um, a big black stripe underneath the door. So that actually saves me a little bit of hassle. So all I need to do now is be care very carefully and make sure that no tape sticks to my hands and make sure that I get the line properly. So before we um, continue with painting um, Bumblebee, there is a slight issue. Um, well, it's not actually an issue, it's more of a, a gripe that I as a obscenely nerdy uh, guy looking into cars noticed is that a Bumblebee um, has uh, the um, caps around the headlights uh, in chrome in the butt mode and these are just yellow and he's got chrome bumpers which isn't a big issue. However, the car that actually is in the movie um, has black bumpers and has these black as well. So um, I either make Bumblebee um, look correctly and um, movie accurate, or I do it for the car. Um, yeah, so that's an issue, but um, I decided to go for the car look because the bumpers actually um, 
hide behind the, the, um, the bumper bumper, this thing. So it might not be as noticeable. Um, so I hope that will solve the issue, but um, yeah, things we have to do for transforming toys. So um, yeah, I decided to go with Chrome. So for the people who are seeing into details and um, would go another right way. Uh, I know I've seen the problem, I've seen the issue, but I decided to go this way. You can go your way if you want to do it yourself, of course. So, um, yeah, that's uh, Chrome the bumpers. So now comes uh, the exciting part is uh, to give him his proper shine. Um, so before I um, do anything else, it's time to give Bumblebee his clear coat, which of course is just, this one is clear. So um, yeah, we'll take it back to the brain booth and give him his final spray over before I hit him with, um, with flat co colors and then we'll make him uh, look even more pretty. So here we go. So um, I gave it all some time to cure and I also gave uh, the bumper a little yellow instead of the thick bumper. It's not completely accurate but it's uh, close enough and it actually helps um, him look a little better and make the bumper a little thinner. Uh, so I'll be finishing him. Um, for now um, it's time to um, add the robot details which is the dark gun metal with uh, metallic black, which I always use for my transformers. And I'm going to start painting some robot details on him. So um, yeah, let's start. So that's what we're working with and um, I'll get the paint out and then we'll start painting. So once again, this uh, says it's metallic black, but that's not completely accurate. What I did was I take half of metallic black, add half of gunmetal gray, and I get this really dark metallic gray, uh, which I use for uh, the base of my robots. So first off, first I'll start with the legs. So the next color we were going to be adding to Bumblebee is uh, sparkling silver. He's got a lot of metal on his uh, body. So um, we're here to repeat, repeat the process. So here we go, cue the music. So in order to finish um, Bumblebee a little bit better, um, it's time to um, do just a little bit of uh, reassembly so we can actually have uh, a little bit more uh, a coherent look of what we're working with so I can actually add the last, uh, the last details. So uh, reassembly time. So we're getting there to the end, um, as you can see. Of course, his face still uh, needs a little work. You can see it. Of course, there needs to be the metal color. So uh, that will be next on my to-do list. As you can see, I put them together and I did some of the detail, um, giving us uh, a finalized and clean looking bumblebee. 
uh, this is how we should look um, without the battle damage, which I'll add later on, so you can actually see what happens. So uh, I'll give me a quick spin. Just noticing this, this should be a little tighter. So uh, this should be more upright. So it already turns out quite nicely. And all that's left to do is give him some battle damage, which we'll do now. I actually can zoom in on his head a little bit. As you can actually see, he already got his eyes in there. And the other one, the battle mask, is right here. And let's hope I can zoom in. Just needs some final touches as well, but uh, it's getting there. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, all we that's left to do is uh, give him some battle damage. So for the battle damage, I'll just use some light gun metal. So now we'll just add some mud in places where you think mud would be. And there you have it guys, Bumblebee completed. Um, as you can see, I um, had some had fun with uh, making him and I hope you guys like it. Um, so um, here are the videos. Please like, subscribe and share if you like it and I hope to see you soon for the next video. Okay, bye.